let's have a conversation between you and I. Not a conversation. You know, this is a dispatch, so I talk to you anyway. As you can see, I, I got a, I got a new walking stick. It's, the rosters made it for me. It's blue and white. Of course, that's a. I'm a child of a goon, you know, and I'm blue and white is goon's colors in, in Africa and also in Brazil. And usually I'm red, black, and green. That's a goon's color in North America where I, I hail from. And anyway, that's not what I want to talk about today. Look, I was hanging out. Well, with my research group in Dumbaza yesterday, you know, it's a tidbit, it's in Jolie. And uh, there was a lot of them there, because it was a holiday. So it's about 15, 16, 17, I don't know, a lot of those guys, you know. And uh, they were reading something to me that was that was a, was a speech. I think it was by, uh, what's that guy, P.W. Bolta. You know, the bad guy in the bad old days of apartheid, you know. I think the speech was from like 1985. They was just reading the, the parts of the text. Now, one of the things, well, all the stuff that he says, you know, we, we experienced that in the States a long, long time ago. You know, of course, you know, I'm, I'm one of those middle passage people, you know, would save slavery and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, they, they had the whole line down. So he got a lot of his stuff from the stuff that they would say about putting black people down, you know, the whole thing. Anyway, that's not, that's not what the issue was. One of the things that they pointed out in the, in the, in the speech that this guy was making, I think it was like 1985, whatever it was, was that they had a plot, not a plot, but a plan, uh, that he had the scientists working on that thing, where it was, I guess you call it, uh, not eugenics, genocide, you know, where you where you take your, your women, you know, take the women and sterilize them so they can't have no more babies, and then they want, you know, the, uh, the uh, uh, Africanists to have more babies, you know, the whole, the whole thing like that. Now, I was pointing, and then, then, of course, those guys was pointing out that today, you know, they have those birth control things that you can stick into yourself and then and the woman is, you know, can't have children for three years and all that stuff. Well, I was pointing out to them, well, they didn't bother with all that. Oh, you said, well, we didn't even bother with that. You know, you're sticking things, you know, the girls can't handle babies, blah, blah, blah. I said, they didn't bother with all that. Because I read a, a thing recently where they say that South Africa has now surpassed, they, they, they have surpassed uh, the number one drinking society in the world. The number one drinking society was Australia, but now South Africa drinks more than Australia. You got to be really a big drinker to drink more than Australia. As I travel around, I met some Australians. They drink. <laughs> they, 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 they drink. They some drink. So if you're drinking more than Australians, think what's happening. Hey. That means that, you know, all that stuff, not only they drink, but all them kind of drugs and all that stuff is getting in your system. That means when you have a baby, you might have a baby, more than likely, you will have a baby that have a defect, a defective children. That's more devastating than not having any children. Because now you got to care for them. Even if the parent don't care for it, the society has to care for that defective child. I know that because, remember, my other research group is starting to people in Dumbaza is a, is, is a, a Kunsamonkle, and that's with the, the children that are under 70, you know, IQ, and that's a lot of what they call fetal alcohol syndrome and all the rest of that stuff, so they, they have problems. So that's the point. If you have a society that everybody's drinking, men and women, it's not just women now, men and women, or a lot of drugs, men and women, what happens is that'll pass on to your genes, to, to your genes, to your, your chromosome, through your little spermy cells and, and your eggs, and you'll have a defective child, and well, you see what's going on. So I said, you're in sad shape. How are you going to change that around? Just because everybody want to drink. Well, we don't know, but we'll find out. Anyway, this is one of those dispatches from the arts director of Maris. That would be me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.